Hey child and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see with the hair content, honey. I have been in hiding in the gym, but it's time to get it together. So, <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go, but hopefully it goes well. Listen, there is an amazing, beautiful black woman with the most beautiful black hair who has a line named after her called Kenya Moore Hair Care. Y'all see how I rhymed that all together? So look, I, um, I've known about Kenya since the 90s when she won her contest. I saw her guest starring on stuff um, on TV, movies, all that. And as we know right now, she's on Real Housewives of Atlanta, which, listen, I have not been watching the show, so if by chance she did something that upset you, they ain't got nothing to do with it. It ain't got nothing to do with me, baby, okay? Don't take it out on me in my comment section. But long story short, she has some products, Kenya Moore Hair Care, that I am going to try in this video. She does have things for growth. She does have things for style. This video will be strictly on the styling products. Now, she has a shampoo, which is a growth repair shampoo. This bad boy right here. She has a conditioning mask and also a conditioner. Now, in full transparency, I tried these products years ago. I decided to revisit them because number one, my knowledge of hair care has shifted a lot since then. And number two, my actual hair has shifted a lot since then. So I just was like, let's just try this again with some new eyes now. Um, the Sally that I went to, because they are available in Sally as well her website they did not have the mask all they had was the conditioner this is new to me i've never tried it so we will be trying for the first time this limited edition conditioner now again i only want to do the styling product she don't have nothing else to do to listen ain't no leave-in no no curl cream no no blowout stuff nothing just shampoo conditioner and a mask so that's what we'll be focusing on in this video um and to see let y'all see the end results i actually style my hair and i'll just use a different company so hopefully listen because all right I'm, I'm a little nervous last time i used her products uh i can't remember the full experience but i remember some of her fans let me have it in the comment section can, can y'all please be nice to me i come in peace all right i just want to try a little hair girl okay listen i cut my hair off she talked about her growth i'm trying to grow mine back let's try it okay we, we come in peace so with that being said let's go wet my hair down because i'm not filming in the shower honey and then we gonna get into these products boom all right let's get this video started and all my grace jones glory so look um i did do one shampoo off camera using this scalp scrub focus this scalp scrub from um, Briogeo. I'm in the gym all the time and my scalp be sweating and I didn't want to put the Kenya shampoo on top of all that dirt. So we cleaned once already with this. Let's get in the Kenya stuff. So again, this is the Kenya Moore Hair Care Growth Repair Shampoo. It's exclusive growth formula restores and repairs to help grow hair longer in one use. It's a strong claim, Miss Kenya. Um, as far as the ingredients, it's no sulfates. False face, parabens, and it's over 90% naturally derived, featuring argan, amla, and manure oils. Color safe, moisturizes natural styles, and restores hair extensions. Basically, she's saying it's for everybody, baby. As far as the smell, it smells really good. It is scented, so if you're scent sensitive, keep that in mind. I got some perfume in it, but it smells it smell really good. All right, let's go ahead and start shampooing. All right, so that's the consistency. So, okay, it got a good lather, especially for me not being in the shower. Um, it feels really soft. I'm not real hard on shampoos, y'all. Just don't dry my hair out and don't make it tangle up and overlap and all the other good stuff. Um, so, so far, so good. Let me continue to work this lather up off camera. I'm very impressed by this lather. You got me there, Kenya. All right, but let me go ahead and finish shampooing off camera and I'll let you know how it worked out. And we are back. Um, as far as the shampoo goes, I can say number one, my hair does feel clean. But number two, something that I noticed when I was rinsing my hair out, my hair felt incredibly soft. Like, I, I don't know what it was, but this definitely helped my hair to feel really soft during the rinse out process. I. I like the shampoo. Let's get into the conditioner. So again, this is not a deep treatment, so I'm not gonna handle it as such. And it's supposed to add shine, stimulate hair growth, hydrate, and moisturize damaged hair. And again, as far as the ingredients, no SLS, SLES, parabens, mineral oil, phthalates. Um, it's for 95% stronger, thicker hair in just one use. That is a strong claim. I would like to see the data to back up this claim, but you know, we just gonna get right into the product. Now, as far as the directions, after the shampoo, listen to me now, after the shampoo, Gently massage to the ends at least five to seven minutes or longer and rinse scalp and hair well with cool water. Okay, Miss Kenya, we, we only applying it to the ends, but we rinsing 
the scalp and the, uh, all right as far as the smell smells good smells really really good uh, but again it's scented so if you're scent sensitive keep that in mind the texture baby she chunky I, okay she chunky she real chunky Let, can you see she thick like me all right so let's apply oh lord okay um it's feeling kind of light it's, it's feeling it's feeling a little light okay so i don't got but a pinch of hair so i ain't gotta use but a pinch of product i would say going on it feels soft but it feels very light it feels very light okay so it is completely applied um number one the scent is getting heavy as i apply it so i noticed that number two is is very light it's, it's it's very light okay listen it's light now all right so because this is not a deep treatment i'm not gonna do a cap or anything like that i'm literally just gonna follow the directions they say five to seven minutes so i'm gonna let this thing sit for five to seven minutes i'm gonna rinse it out and i'm gonna come back and tell you my experience be right back Alrighty, so i just rinsed out my hair um what i will notice is first of all they said five to seven minutes i was working on something i left it on closer to 15. um what i noticed when i rinsed it out was my hair definitely feels soft and it does have moisture when i said that it feels light what i mean is it felt like lighter ingredients traditionally for my hair type i go for products that have super heavy uh, moisturizing ingredients because sometimes it makes manageability a little bit easier for me um, this one has lighter moisturizers and i noticed that while it is light it is still effective so as far as just a rinse out I enjoyed it now if this was a deep treatment I would be like now wait a minute now but as far as like a rinse I'll leave it on for a few minutes rinse it out this was actually effective so let me go ahead and style my hair and I'll give you all my final thoughts and um, because I'm not using Kenya products to style I just figure I'll just do that off camera and let y'all see the results be right back okay my hair is now complete let me tell you about my experience and real quick listen i can't tell y'all what i use to style it okay a company that i work with on the regular they're releasing a new product and they wanted me to try it off camera to get to know the product so since it ain't out yet i can't tell you what it is just know it's fire anywho about these products the shampoo i absolutely enjoyed this shampoo the fact that it cleansed my hair and left it feeling soft i like that the conditioner uh keep it in mind this is a rinse out and not a deep treatment instead of saying uh, a whole bunch of this is good this is not i'm gonna tell you who it is for and who i don't think it is for so if you are relaxed yes go for it if you are going to wash your hair and prepare it for blow drying it silk pressing it anything like that yes go for it if you are a natural and you have finer strands with a lower density and you don't like a lot of heavy products then yes absolutely go for it but if you are an og natural that has denser hair maybe even a tighter texture and you prefer those heavier products think old school shea moisture main choice maybe even a little myel if you use that melanin hair care pattern camille rose then you would not like this and that's just me being honest i have fine strands and medium density so i can use it and it's not a problem for me but if you were someone who has that thicker hair i don't think you will be pleased just because the ingredients are on the lighter side so it's not a bad product be clear it's not it's just all according to your preference on the amount of moisture and oil that you want it to leave on your hair and as far as the amount of slip that you're gonna get like for me it didn't give a lot of slip at all that's why i'm saying if you have a denser hair than me you might not like this but everybody else that i mentioned the relaxed those that's getting it blown out and those who have finer strands with a lower density go for it all right and that's all i got to say about this if you have any questions leave me down below i love y'all maki dada and i'm off this piece happy day to you and go ahead and twirl and go about your business all right bye